Welcome to Hope Adventist News from the studios of Hope Channel, Ghana, 23 Julius Nyerere Street, Osu, Accra. Now to our headlines for this week. Northern Ghana Union launches hearing impaired school, promoting inclusivity and accessibility. Greenview Ghana ends music rally with blood donation exercise. College of Counseling and Psychology celebrate ninth graduation ceremony. 30 Adventist pastors ready to serve communities. Those and other stories will be coming your way right after the break. Welcome back now to our very first story. The Possibility Ministries Department of the Northern Ghana Union Conference took a significant step forward on April 20, 2024, by inaugurating a sign language school at the Nyenya Wasu Inyano Seventh day Adventist Church. This auspicious location coincided with the celebration of Possibility Day observed across Adventist churches worldwide. Pastor Chumisi Dankwa, the Director of Possibility Ministry at the Northern Ghana Union Conference, officially inaugurated the Sign Language School during the ceremony. The event featured captivating musical performances by the virtual and hearing impaired choir, showcasing the beauty of sign language expression in song. As part of the launch event, the union demonstrated its commitment to inclusivity by presenting wheelchairs to deserving individuals with disabilities. These wheelchairs were generously donated by various conferences within the Northern Ghana Union Conference, reflecting a collective effort to support those in need. <laughs> In an exclusive interview with Hope Adventist News, Pastor Henry Brenya Farquhar, the Possibility Director from the Mountain View Ghana Conference, provided insight into the program's goal and urged other fields to establish similar sign language schools to advance the ministry's mission. <laughs> Echoing the sentiment, Pastor David Eduche, the Possibility Director from the Shanti Central Ghana Conference, appealed to philanthropists to support the ministries by providing essential goods and resources such as wheelchairs to enhance the well-being of individuals with disabilities. <laughs> Yes, 
A report by Nanakwabna Jisi Dakwa Kumase. Moving on, the Greenview Ghana Conference Music Rally held in Bichim Ahafo region from April 23rd to the 28th, 2024, concluded with a distinctive and philanthropic endeavor. This consisted of a blood donation drive aimed at replenishing the blood bank of Prisga Advanced Medical Center, also known as the Seven Day Adventist Hospital, Bichim. The rally themed I Will Go, singing to win hearts for God's kingdom, brought together music enthusiasts from across the region for a harmonious occasion. The program consisted of over 700 participants from 15 districts, encompassing various music groups such as choirs, singing bands, youth choirs, and choral groups. Throughout the event, each group took turns showcasing their musical talent in praise of God, including a special tribute to the late Osei Boateng, a reverend music composer within the Adventist Church. Amidst the musical festivities, the music directors provided valuable insight into music fundamentals and strategies for building strong musical groups geared towards mission work. Health practitioners also seized the opportunity to emphasize the importance of regular checkups and preventive health care, addressing concerns about rising cardiovascular diseases. A significant development emerged during this year's rally. The Ghana Adventist Choir Union Gaku and the Ghana Adventist Singing Bank Union Gazbu will now operate as separate entities, each with its leadership. During the Sabbath sermon, Pastor Maxwell in Team Entry, the president of the Greenview Ghana Conference, outlined three key requirements for musicians on a journey towards heaven prayer for empowerment, reflective lives, and authenticity in message delivering to hasting Christ's second coming. Seven years to come at Diana, at the Adamsi. Nine years to be a year for no now. Sabre, no, 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 and I'm saying to me, no, I have a minute. Monko, we are seeing a number of them. I'm a my SUF. Now, more as I said, and Jack, hello, my name is Akasayo. More as you said, and Jack, or Bar, I don't know who you are. The closing session of the rally honored notable individuals, including the oldest participant at 75 years, the youngest at 5 years, and Philip Beckhorn, the composer of the theme song. Their contributions to the music ministry within the Adventist Church were celebrated with gratitude. Away from that, the College of Counseling and Psychology held its ninth graduation ceremony on April 26, 2024 at the school premises in Hachu, Accra. The ceremony honored the accomplishment of about 30 Adventist pastors who had completed their specialized training programs. The ceremony marked a pivotal moment in the lives of these pastors as they embarked on their new roles in various communities. The College of Counseling and Psychology, CCP, began in the year 2000 as an international theological seminar, ITS. It was then affiliated with International Theological Seminar in the United States of America. The seminary had the objective of training seasoned theologians and Christian counselors to heal a hurting world. From its inception in Ghana, ITS has trained well over 500 ministers of the gospel and 1,000 Christian counselors. 
the graduation ceremony at the College of Counseling and Psychology was not just a culmination of academic achievement, but also a celebration of dedication and commitment to serving others. The ceremony featured speeches from college faculty and distinguished guests who commended the graduates for their hard work and dedication. During the ceremony, speakers emphasized the importance of mental health awareness and the role that pastors and elders will play in providing guidance and support to individuals and families in need. The graduates have undergone rigorous training, learning how to integrate their faith with contemporary counseling practices to offer holistic support. Gracing the occasion as a special guest of honor was Okatechi Abibio Boache Dankwa II, the Trafuhini of Achim Ibuakwa. Speaking on the theme of the program, Healing a Hurting People, the Role of Professional Counselors, Okatechia Bibiu Boache Dankwa II reflected on the profound significance of counseling and psychology and the impactful journey ahead of each individual. According to him, in light of the current societal challenges, counseling emerges as a beacon of hope. Of 2024, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols to be observed. It is indeed a profound honor to be here this morning to celebrate with you the notable achievements of this class. As we gather here on this significant occasion, we must reflect on the countless hours of hard work, dedication, and perseverance that has brought us to this milestone. This morning, we gather under the team Healing a Hurting People, the role of the professional counselor. This reflects the profound significance of counseling and psychology and the impactful journey ahead for each of you. People are a collective group united by shared culture, traditions, and languages. Regardless of all these connections, we witness the multitude of societal changes that afflict communities globally. The harsh realities of poverty, displacement, discrimination, injustices, and corruption issues undermine societal harmony and individual well-being. Today, we face a mirage of societal ills that profoundly affect the mental health and overall equilibrium. Graduates received their certificates with pride, recognizing their academic achievements and commitment to serving others. Among the graduates, Mrs. Tracy Mavis Ohinin Ampon Adai stood out as the overall best student, and in admiration and respect from her peers and faculty alike. Alongside her, Pastor Kingsley Osei, the general manager of Advent Press, and his wife, Mrs. Patient Osei, were recognized for their outstanding accomplishment and received the prestigious Presidential Award in Creation Therapy. Speaking about their esteem award, Pastor and Mrs. Kingsley Osei expressed their gratitude for the recognition. They acknowledged the challenges they had overcome and the support they had received throughout their academic journey. With humility and determination, they pledged to continue their effort to provide compassionate care and support to individuals seeking guidance and healing. Each and every one has his time. 
years when they are having difficulties and they come to us to counsel them. It's not only about pay marital counseling. Most marital counselors are there when somebody is in crisis, death, and challenges. Any part of counseling, when the person comes, we have been affected to help the person to go through all these difficulties. Elder Tiflo Steria Collins, also a graduate, shared his perspective on the importance of the field of counseling and psychology. He underscored the vital role that counselors and psychologists play in addressing the mental and emotional well-being of individuals and communities. He commended the graduate for their commitment to this noble profession and encouraged them to remain steadfast in their pursuit of excellence. The journey has been very smooth, but a bit challenging because you have your own professional assignment, you have what you are doing, and at the end of the day, you also have to do 420 hour course to be able to qualify you know, as a counselor by this institution. But I must say that it has also come with a joy, a joy that we are not positioned to be able to attend to issues that come to us. One of the interesting topics that were treated, that I was very happy with, is how to deal with terminal illnesses. People who take care of people who are about dying, who are sick, dying, busy. How do we counsel those who come around these people? Because the issue is that in modern times, a lot of the youth don't have time to attend to their ill parents and terminal, people with terminal sickness. We are all working in various areas and it becomes difficult to find somebody who will have the care for these people. And it's an area that actually caught my heart through my studies. I believe that with this knowledge that I have acquired, it will be able to help me to do my work very well as a member of the family ministries, both at the local church level and at the district level. And I will also encourage other members in similar ways, especially members in the family ministries in Ghana, to make time to attend this program. The college aims to continue empowering religious leaders with the knowledge and tools to address the complex challenges facing their communities today. These newly graduated pastors are now ready to apply their training in practical settings, offering compassionate counseling and psychological support rooted in their faith. A report by Nanaku Siobuache, Mr. Justice Sapir. Also, the Taco Sector Women's Ministries Department of the West Central Ghana Conference, WGC, of the Sunday Adventist Church embarked on a four-day retreat at the Wesley Methodist Business School Park in Nsiayem from Wednesday, April 24 to Sunday, April 28, 2024, under the theme, Empowered to Go. The retreat commenced with an opening ceremony led by Pastor Richard Edison Agbenetto, District Pastor of Insayam District, who urged all women to uphold virtuous values and avoid negative societal influence. With the motto, Women for Christ Lift Him Up, the retreat was packed with spirit-filled activities, including prayer sessions and thanksgiving services led by Pastor Samuel Bafo from Tomso District. Pastor Gwenato and J.C. Ishan delivered insightful lectures on sustaining marriages and dealing with divorce from the Adventist perspective. In an interview with Madame Comforta Mwakon, Sector Women's Ministries Director, she emphasized the importance of women's involvement in church activities, highlighting their empowerment to spread the message of Christ beyond their comfort zones. <laughs> They are to be a young sheer tomb, nay a boy, a woman, and a young boy, nay a good boy, as a young person. Pastor Samuel Balfour emphasized the empowerment of women to set positive examples as they venture into the world. Dear Sarasa, Bidibiara, Yame, my Becassi, a cobbler, the dear Momo, the non fan who shall a son see a Nina may boom punum to be a ra, Yame, Ushiraya. Madame Augustine Najima, a participant in the retreat, reflected on the profound impact of the event and how it will positively influence her life. 
The retreat concluded with a representatives from the six districts within the sector, along with hundreds of women and young ladies from Abomso, Tamso, Takwa East and West, Huni Valley, and the host in Soyem District in attendance. The presence of three pastors from the conferences further enriched the event. A report by Jocelyn Ajuabwaje with Central Ghana Conference. And so let's go for a quick break. We'll be back with the rest of the stories. Back from the break, you reminded that Hope Adventist News is brought to you by Angels of Hope, and you can actually be an angel of hope by just dialing star 928 star 32 star 104 hash on your phone and follow the prompt. Or you can equally send your monies or donations to our account number 02491-93083, and you'll help in spreading the word of God. Now, moving on with the stories. The Namong Seventh-day Adventist Church nestled within the mid-central Ghana Conference recently celebrated a remarkable milestone marking its 75th anniversary. This momentous occasion was commemorated with great enthusiasm as the church observed its Diamond Jubilee whilst also rallying the support for the Youth Development Center, an essential initiative dedicated to empowering the youth in the community. Founded in 1949 through the vision of opening Nyama from the old of Finso and evangelist Utusipuku from Osino, the Namun Seventh Adventist Church has flourished over the past 75 years. Despite humble beginnings and lacking formal education, pioneers such as Opini Isaac Kwamichreme and Opini EKJB dedicated themselves to the church's growth and prosperity. The 75th anniversary celebration of the Namun Seventh day Adventist Church welcomed esteemed guests, including Pastor Dr. Kwame Anobuahin, President of the Northern Ghana Union Conference, Pastor Daniel Che Balfo Jr., President of the Miss Central Ghana Conference, and Pastor Dr. Paul Amotreme, who represented Pastor Professor Robert Osei President of the West Central African Division. Honorable Albert Kandapa, National Security Minister and native of Namun, along with representatives from the Finso, Chief Municipal, Executive and Church members, joined in the festivities. Pastor Tremer delivered an inspiring message, urging church members to move forward in faith and unity, drawing from the biblical passage, 1 Samuel 7, verse 12. Israel first if for obey say only Israel for Babylon, but the Lord tender with the great tender of that day upon the Philistines and disconfited them and they were smitten before the children of Israel. Someone goes so bad for you. Philistine forever. And then you me catch Israel for say Okono me kwama. Me mamu me me kwama. Okono e ya me ko. Na onyame ato aprana nyame ato ja every sro e di be ku won so e be ku philistine fo no okududu o ma ana e ka ka kra bi ana o mo so mu dwane na me babo chira me say is your authority won achi na o kumu nyina mako 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 e ma philistine fo no esan in an interview with Hope Adventist News, Pastor Dr. Paul Amot Sherman, the Health Ministries Director of West Central African Division, highlighted the significance of the church's milestone. Pastor Dr. Kwame Anobuahin, President of the Northern Ghana Union Conference, emphasized the importance of community support. 
Influence now, you beat me at it in Mabuno, that's a Oswaban for Shama Ghana. We are sitting in Obusia. Pastor Daniel Chiba for Junior President of Miss Central Ghana Conference reiterated the church's commitment to faith and service. 75 anniversary for of Namon Church. In fact, the celebration year, Pafri said, Look, Romani, there were in Crown Crow, I will be. I walk Ghana has SDA a sorry moa. Say you draw SDA a sorry ne map on. Enti me njira muda. Enkroni bi to say kufiase. Ebi ati say we are moase. Ebi to say aguna. Ebi to say be quiet. Ena ebi ya afamaso. Ebi ya ni mi fu. Nenzu nukre muni no. Saint Tiana Mon, everybody can say, and Crony Hone said, Nipa, a free Namon, a sorry Nimu, a PM, and Yansam Ketua. Sabin, sorry, we pray, Woha, a be Abro hundred years. And we say Nipa Bia, and Nipa, but I wish the impact of Namon as the church in the community of Seven day Adventism. Who say? A sorry no effort say a celebrity uh, for the 75 years in existence. A report by Kofi Boache, Miss Central Ghana Conference. Kumasi. The Western North Ghana Conference has organized its first ever children's ministries camp meeting to strengthen the Young Believers Foundation. Held at Sirioso from April 24 to the 28th, it was theme I will go be his disciple. This theme sets the tone for five days of faith-based activities and teachings aimed at deepening the children's understanding of the Christian faith in the Adventist Church. The camp brought together over 400 children aged 6 and above from various districts and local churches. This provided a holistic approach to nurturing the spiritual growth of the attendees, offering engaging sessions such as devotionals, Bible studies, fun games, team building activities, and talent showcases. Exciting excursions including a visit to the Serial Soul Zipline Center enriched the children's learning experiences. Before the Sabbath service, the attendees took to the streets of we also to spread awareness about the program, inviting their non-Adventist peers to join them. During the service, Mrs. Selwa Bunsuteria, the Children's Ministries Director for the conference, delivered the sermon, highlighting critical factors for making every child a disciple of Christ. <laughs> Conference president acknowledged the camp sources, crediting the ministry's director and children's Sabbath school teachers for their effort in nurturing young believers. In a consecration message, Pastor Joseph Akameza encouraged attendees to be leaders in their homes, communities, and churches. <laughs> Yes, 
The Children's Ministries Camp Meeting is a testament to the power of fostering spiritual growth and nurturing young believers in their journey with God. In an interview with Mrs. Sewa Bunsuteria, the Women's Ministries Director for the conference, she highlighted the growth and sense of community witnessing among the children during the camp. <laughs> Abasu kama kama yanti bobobia. Ifati yehu nise wese no gana conference mpala eni exposure bebri. Ewa yansu nise ni sifati ya nkasa. Mkwala ni bebri biya kitu wana wapasu wane honku wanwe ni medu camp meetings kwa omkobi. Intu o nimso wanini ya noma kwa nrefuwa mpala bebri wa bebi. Nti ya 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 jense afi ya bebu wapu mpala ya wa conference ni nano. Na ya besu ya eradia semu. Miss Kesiwa Sabas, a program attendee, expressed her seated expectations during the camp. My name is Kesiwa Sabas from the Kai District. I came, I was happy to come to this Kai Children's Camp of 2024. I was expecting to to have an experience, but by God's grace, I had it a pass. And I'm thanking the leaders and the pastors for making us feel so happy. A report by Evans Asante Mensa, Western North Ghana Conference. Now ending the news, a momentous ceremony unfolded at the Mansell Takwase Seventh-day Adventist Church as they gathered to dedicate their newly constructed church building to the glory of God. The event was graced by esteemed dignitaries helping to make the event a memorable one. The event was filled with joyous celebration and heartfelt prayers as members expressed their gratitude for the new church building. In an interview with Hope Adventist News, Pastor Augustine Edujimfi, the president of Ashanti South Ghana Conference, applauded the leaders and members of the Takura Se Church for their contribution to the church's project. Pastor Edujimfi emphasized the importance of maintaining culture within the church. <laughs> And our dear, we are near to us on your couponsa. When your coupon shall be Biara or Dinsica, and then the Japa de Elbonia, Mia Dumasa, Sadia, Takrasas of May, Aya, and Ne, Yanya de Fefe, and Futia, Midbamasa for Ma, and near her four near Tiafonia, and say, A Daya is Suheno, Mumma, the maintenance coach has no, and Quanimu, Serbia, and Ned, the Abbey of Fefe, and your coupon say, A de Biara. Yamra saw them say, Yeah, best Sumono. Na I saw them when you are neat. Now and Tin Tambia, Nan Conyanina, your kama. Now Luva blessing in your kama. Pet is a whole out to cheer. Now you are come for a go home. Now you come, come, come. Master said, I saw them with environment in your hands, so we keep it clean. Said the Baya, I saw the day, I have been a good point in a beer. Pastor Puisiama reiterated the conference's commitment to supporting churches in completing their various church projects, ensuring that all houses of worship are completed to serve their congregations effectively. Donya miya se, o bamba he support ya dumi. Nenenswa shenhuni mnyam, 
amata krase asore yetimi so e di aso no ahye nyamensa nya dedicate amna yefe ye bompa ye ni esira urade sen sori aka nyina no ye ntimi nya bi nyame de asie no se ye nyina ye nko ye ko no ni esan so hwe fie se e fie atim e asore fie no ye sie sie ye sira urade en sori o muntimi nya omo de no eh conference to da mo ba yetimi emom bibi kakra enti munya hyehye ye ni ntimi emmo ye nyina ye ho a report by Elder George Mensah Jr., Mansour Takrasi. So this is where we end the news for this week. But before we go, let's take another look at our headlines. Northern Ghana Union Conference launches hearing impaired school, promoting inclusivity and accessibility. Greenview Ghana ends music rally with blood donation drive. College of Counseling and Psychology celebrate ninth graduation ceremony. 30 Adventist pastors ready to serve communities. Be an angel of hope in spreading the word of God. All you need is by just dialing star 928 star 32 star 104 hash on your phone and follow the prompt. You can also send in your donations to our Momo account number 0249-193083. You can watch Hope Adventist News and all other shows or programs on our YouTube or Facebook page. That's Hope Channel Ghana or Hope TV Ghana. Remember, you can equally reach us on our WhatsApp line 0559-680066 or our email at hopetvghana at gmail.com. Continue watching Hope Adventist News and all other programs. Stay safe and stay tuned for the best of our programs. <laughs>